In today's video, we're going to discuss how Apple is moving into the AI space and how Apple is the best way to play that. So we're in our account. We earn over 100,000 per year in dividends, as you know, at this channel. And that's a lot, thanks in part due to our yield max funds, which Apple is one of those funds. We're also up 1,600 for the day on Friday. Uh, I didn't get many views on my past video where I showed myself in New York. So now I'm starting off with my face uh, not showing on the screen. My numbers should speak for themselves. And if you click out right now, I really question your judgment. My retention rates are so small on my channel. In the first 30 seconds, so many people click off, even when I showed my face around New York. So if you want to see more uh, about the man behind the camera, go see my videos that I made in New York this week. We're up 32% for the year now, 32%. The Dow Jones up two, the SP is up 11, and the NASDAQ's up 26. So we're beating the NASDAQ once again, and even on Friday, uh, we beat the NASDAQ because we were up 0.24 on Friday, whereas the NASDAQ was up 0.16 on Friday. So we're beating the NASDAQ and the market, all, ind all indices on both a daily basis and a year-to-date basis. And a lot of that is from, as you know, Cornerstone. This is as we go down the line here. And if you click out once again, I'm sorry, I don't understand why people are, are clicking out when the, my numbers are speaking for themselves here. When I was in New York, I was I was um, really worried about this because I was I was making videos showing Central Park and showing everything there. And I didn't get any views. It's not really worth the views to put all that production in. And plus, even when I show myself on camera, I really don't know where to look. And so I apologize for um, you know, me not looking at the camera, and I guess that's the camera there. Who cares, okay? What matters are these numbers here, which you're seeing, okay? And I just showed you my performance, okay? How, co how come you wouldn't want to learn how to mimic this performance, okay? So we're going to get into Apple and how it's moving into this AI space, but you need to look at the numbers, okay? Because that's really how I'm getting all my performance. It's not about Apple or any of these other funds. It's how much I put in each fund, how I'm mirroring these things and tying them to the indexes. So yes, uh, CLM, this is where we get a lot of our performance. It's a four-star fund. A lot of people hate on this fund because they see the chart and they see that it goes into the ground. But look at my drip shares. We get dripped at 649, 679, 671, 654 every month. So that's an instant 26% gain, 23% gain, 25% gain, 21% gain. So um, I know my subscribers don't mind me being redundant. They said it's okay. You know, obviously making money doesn't get boring. I just don't like how I'm not getting the views from putting my face on YouTube. That's the only thing that bothers me. So anyway, Cornerstone is the best vehicle in the world, in my opinion, to amass your wealth. I have over 400 grand in it because look at that market price, 830 and 830. And yet we drip down at those NAV shares of 640, 649, 671, 654. So we get these capital gains as well as daily gains throughout the day. See, Cornerstone still made me 0.24, 0.25, it's still performed in line with the indexes, as you can see above, 0.24, 0.25, so it still beat the NASDAQ and the S&P to give me another $1,000 worth of gains. The last video about me in New York I showed, we are up 7,000 for the day, and sometimes I can be up almost 15,000 a day from this portfolio, which is very unusual considering it's dividends and not capital gains and just buying Tesla outright. So I'm getting the best of both worlds. All these days gains plus over 100,000 per year in dividends. And again, why would you click out? I'm going to show you guys my retention rates if you don't believe me on the next video. I could show you right now, but I believe that would be a bit of a tangent. But I promise when you look at your analytics for YouTube, it shows a, a dramatic drop off in the first 30 seconds. For most people, they say this is about average, but why? Why are they clicking out? Look at these numbers, okay? So anyway, Cornerstone, that's where we're getting our performance. And you have to play Cornerstone properly. It will drop on the rights offering, so just be aware of that. And you also have to call and ask for the special drip. So if you need help playing Cornerstone, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. Going down the line, we see Riv was up a percent. We see Tesla was up half a percent. Apple was up 0.3%. So Apple, that's what we're making this video on, Apple. Now, where else are we getting our performance from? Our margin. We have 271000 in margin debt, which is just a portion of what they allow you to use. Uh, they give me 647000 in purchasing power because for every $1 you put in your account, you get $4. 
So that's how I'm getting my performance too. If you need help with margin, I have e-guides there as well. Email me at akintosh48 at gmail.com for my margin e-guides. That's how I live financially free, traveling the world. This car that you see me in, I just got this car. I actually got it from the dealership today and I got it all from qualifying income. That's what these dividends provide, qualifying income. So even if you're down in the position, the banks don't look at that. They just look at how much dividends you earn per month, like a paycheck. Trading day trading does not give you that. Plus, 90% of day traders lose. So you have to go with dividends if you want to open up your world. And Apple, Apple to be um, exact, has a nice dividend, a 16% yield. In fact, if we go into Apple's uh, snapshot, you'll see that the dividend is 16%. And yes, Apple is at the highs. Okay, Apple is at the highs. So what do we do about this predicament? I say I'm still holding on to Apple because the dividend is paying me to wait. The dividend, and if this stock falls, if this fund falls, we're going to buy more Apple, of course, because it's 10% of the NASDAQ. Please see my past videos on Apple if you're interested in how to see how yield max funds like Apple works. I have full coverage on Apple, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, Tesla. So um, how is Apple moving into the AI space? Well, because they've been pretty quiet about this. And I'm just going to say that my guess is, when you, uh, w with all the information they use to track people for their health, Apple health, I think not only with their music section, will they add AI, but with their health component of their business, they're going to do, um, they're going to start increasing their AI abilities there. And we are, they already have such intuitive ability to see your, your heartbeats and your, your emotions. And I think that that's only going to get stronger. And they're trying to keep that under wraps because it's a really big deal and they don't want competition beating them to the space. So Apple, uh, it's at the highs. Once again, we saw Apple's at the highs, but I'm buying on any dips because it's 10% of the NASDAQ. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar portfolio, you want 10% in Apple if you want to, an Apple, if you want to match the indexes, and that's the secret to my performance. So I'm going to leave this video short because I already showed you where I'm getting my performance, okay? It's coming from Cornerstone and these yield max funds and all these other funds that I combined together to get over 100,000 per year in dividends and to get over a 30%, see 125 in dividends, and to get over, what is it again? Let me check again, because this is just eye-popping, 32%. I mean, we were just up 30, and now we're up 32% beating the NASDAQ. So you can't just buy dividend paying names that go sideways to down, because that just gives you a dividend and then the, the fund goes into the into the ground and so you don't really get ahead much but you do get qualifying income that way i admit but you also have the have to have these other vehicles to get you capital gains exposure like we've been pushing in our old videos see all my past videos and how we're trying to get more expo more performance out of our account buying growth names and even lately we're getting a uh, balance in our portfolio going with uh, with uh, value names like schwab d that's why i made a, a video on how to day trade schwab d right now like why i'm five reasons why I'm doing Schwab D. So guys, I'm talking fast because I'm sitting in my car. Um, my boy TJ's inside. He's, it's very loud in the house and I'm burning up in my car because if I turn my car on with the sound, then you can't hear me well. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm buying Apple on any dip for its move into AI, even without AI. It's such a strong company, but that doesn't even matter. We don't care about fundamentals of companies when you want performance. When you want performance, you just go with the indexes. And all I have to know is that Apple is 10% of the NASDAQ. It's between 5 and 10% of the S&P. So that's all I know. I'm going to buy that much Apple because I want performance in line with the markets. And as long as I'm getting this performance, I'm happy because it keeps me out of a margin call. My my equity has grown to 130. So I have a lot of cushion. When this equity number gets to zero, I'm in a margin call. So I need to get as much performance as possible so I can keep this cushion strong. And so mirroring my, my uh, funds uh, with the index is the way that I do this. So if you have any questions on how I'm playing the market or how I'm getting this performance, uh, leave comments in the section below or email me at akintod48 at gmail.com for my e-guides. And hopefully um, we can... Uh, I can answer all of your questions that way. And uh, also I sell my, uh, I have my phone number uh, for sale. Uh, I have to charge for my number now because I'm getting stretched too thin talking to people from all over the world, which I love. I thoroughly enjoy this, but I still am charging $100 for my number per hour, but I'm not watching the clock. So you can talk to me anytime. I just have to get charged something for my number and my time. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, leave comments again uh, if you have any other ideas on how to play maybe the AI space, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.